Okay, here it is. This is going to be part number three of me learning how to speak Icelandic using the Pimsleur method. So that's what I'm doing. When I'm wearing this hat for this conversation, I am the lovely Sagrun. And uh, that's the uh, beautiful Icelandic woman that I'm going to meet this time when I go out there. She doesn't know it yet because she doesn't know even though I exist. But uh, apparently she's going to be beautiful and Dig it on the regalado. So anyways, when I'm Sagrun, I'm wearing this hat. When I'm regular old Hugh, I'm wearing my winter traveling hat. So once again, I'm going to carry on the conversation in Icelandic, my version of Icelandic. And down here, I'll put it in English. Here we go. Hello. Hello, Serun. Yao. Sail, Serun. Psych, Hugh. Quav say of Tuga, Serun. Ye say of Tatsgat, and tu? Ye say at oft mirgat. Tu talagolavis in school. Ne atkis were gola. And ye skill is in school. Small vase. Tu talamir gola is in school. Nay, at this war maketh. Through Skiller is in school, or through Talagova is in school. Bless, bless. Bless, bless. Okay, well, there it was. That was the third lesson. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one was a little bit more difficult for me because it started introducing male and female versions of different words. It seems like a lot of the language, at least the limited view that I have of, of it so far, has a neutral gender basis to it. But some of the words definitely have a uh, masculine or a feminine. Uh, I don't know what the uh, what the descriptive word of it is, but they're a masculine or a feminine orientation. Maybe that's it. So that's giving me a little bit uh, more difficulty. Maybe that's why I can never learn how to speak Spanish. Eh, you know. Oh well. Anyways, that's lesson number three. Now it's to uh, start lesson number four. Thanks for watching.